We really haven't spent a lot of time talking to these guys. No, let's talk to Dr. O. Breaking news! Talking lobotomite arrives in Think Tank. Its purpose, unknown. Undefinable. Its presence here, impossible. I think you meant impossible. Oh, really? Now the lobotomite is a master of the dictionary arts. What, do you have a doctorate in verbology? No? <laughs> I do! And... Stop the presses! Just in for my eye monitors. Is that Rob Kotek on your arm? It is! What's your agenda bringing that in here? What, the, the Pip-Boy? How dare you bring Rob Kotek in here? What are you showing off? How great Robert House and his big company are? You're lucky I don't have hands to tear that dip boy off your arm, or feet to stomp on its stupid metal guts. <sighs> Damn Robco. I didn't realize Mr. House made your pit boy Look, just calm down, man. I just wanted to ask some questions. Fine. Ask. What do you do here? All things robotical. You see a robot? I made it. See a broken robot? I made it that way. <laughs> Deconstructed it down to parts. <laughs> I have a gift with machines. I can render anything inoperable. Preserve them in a non-functioning state. Yes, yeah, that we do that too. Don't you have any other names other than Dr. O? Yeah, I do. It wasn't always O. I just took that one by default because sometimes it's easier to accept the mistake as long as the purpose works. I don't want to get into it. It's a sore topic with me. It makes my gel ripple. Well, talking about things makes you feel better, right? And it might help if you left me alone. Why are you even talking to me? If I need any bonding, I'll go find two ionized molecules to smash. <laughs> okay. Science so, joke. I might need some more of those worthless caps to test the CIU barter functions upstairs. Yeah, there were a few under the monitors here. Here you go. Keeps the place tidy. Tell me more about Mobius and those robotic scorpions of his. That genius Mobius somehow cobbles together these really impressive looking robot scorpions with spare parts. Even painted them. Try to see what makes them tick. Can't even examine them without them detonating all over me. Oh, yeah. Left with shrapnel and burns. Every time. How do you get burned? Supposedly, he has even larger models. Even a giant robot scorpion hidden deep within the Forbidden Zone. Yeah. Right. Giant monsters. Sure. A giant robot scorpion? Yeah, crazy, right? Something right out of a midnight science fiction feature. Ridiculous. What are the odds? Tell me about this facility. Big Mountain used to be a mountain. Then there was a slight mishap. <laughs> now it's a crater. <laughs> the dome used to be buried. Now it's exposed to the sky. Okay, then. I'll see you later. Until our next scheduled audio transmission and reception, then. Anyway, let's talk to some of the other friendlier members around here, shall we? Yes, let's talk to Dr. Eight. I can't really understand what you're saying. Blasting me with static eclipse isn't helpful. Ah, I think he's doing it intentionally. Do you know anything about Mobius of the Forbidden Zone? If he does, he's gonna have trouble communicating it to us. All right, all right, calm down. I didn't mean to alarm you. Tell me about those technologies that Klein wants, even though I have them all here in my backpack. The more you speak, something's technical about the way you're squawking at me. Very technical. Forget I brought it up and, until I bring it up again. <laughs> Which is going to be right now, because I think you're emitting characters and patterns of eight bracketed with some tone adjustment at the end. Mm, I guess I have an ear for it. Yeah, nice pun on the header file ref. I agree, if someone else would take the time, you're more than just sound effects in a tank. No, that's exactly what he is! Alright, well, I'm gonna be going now, but I'll, uh... Later. The lobotomite animal before me. What other terrifying terrors will plague us in our quest for knowledge? Communists? Communist animals, perhaps? Be warned. Attempt to propaganda me. I will shriek as a frightened babe calling loyal <laughs> cyber dogs to my aid. Do you comprehend, commie animal? <laughs> By the way, we killed Gabe. 
Thank you. A scamp, but really, his highly augmented combat programming could have proved meddlesome. In any event, thank you for putting him down. One last test subject to catalog and sort. Clearly a failure of Doggy's cyber engineering. Clearly a failure of you being a but, and what do you do here, anyway? I lay the bones and hearts of animals bare beneath my searing gaze. Especially the dogs. I did so love dogs once. Especially Gabe, that rascal. But there are many animals to shape. Industrious Cazadors. The happy-go-lucky Night Stalkers. Yeah, yeah. They are my living, breathing DNA test tubes. You don't seem to have a grasp on your own research, and by that I mean you're a bad scientist. Nonsense! That is what you speak. Nonsense! From beyond! I want you to give me one concrete fact, because you can't even do that! What you ask is of no importance! Mobius besieges us! There are more important things to worry about than data and facts! Is this Gabe's bowl? Your dog from X8? Gabe? What? Why, yes, it is. I used to leave it outside his doghouse, chock full of cans, before the cybernetic modifications, of course. Uh huh. And no matter how cammed the food, he would always eat it, and his tail would wag, even. even while I. I. You know, I'm having the most perplexing feeling squiggling through my biogel. I can't quite pin it down. Well, it seems to me it belongs to a friend of yours. Gabe, no matter how awful my day had been, he, he was always waiting there. How odd. My gel is decoagulating. And when I would talk to him about Betsy, and how Marcus would beat on me and call me smarty sissy pants, he'd just sit there, head on my knee, and... And then you mutilated him, for science. If you don't mind, I'll take that bowl. Just need to remove it. Put it away, somewhere out of radar range. For some reason... Its similarity to the crater shape of Big Mountain is starting to fill up all available cognitive spaces. That, combined with my own overwhelming feeling of having done something terrible, the two were hitting me with unexpected force. Because you killed your best friend. This sensation is unpleasant. I don't care for it. I don't care for this place either. And... I feel as if we've forgotten something. Still, it is no matter. Crush the feeling down. I do not need to remember any more. Not today. That's a healthy way to deal with your emotions, and it totally won't make you feel awful all the time. Until next time, then. Provided there is a next time. For any of us. Alright, should we talk to Dr. Dalla? I don't see anything wrong with that. You are an unusual specimen to so boldly walk into the mighty expanse of the think tank. Fearless and proud as a teddy bear. Between the extraction of their higher reasoning abilities and urination-inducing fear, most lobotomites dare not approach us, let alone speak to us. Yet you have no such fear facing me. Epidermis fleshed with blood, plasma running molten beneath, your face contorting with muscular expression. Will you indulge me? Say a few words. Face towards the monitors, please, so that I might record it for further examination. The quick scribe jumped over the lazy paladin. Seeing your lips and mouth forming the words, both revolting and somehow... I'm uncomfortable with this! How does it feel to have the flesh roll around in your mouth like that? To control each muscle and the tongue? 
Like having a fish or extremely dexterous slug lolling and flopping in one's <laughs> mouth cavity. I think Mike should take this one. I'm going to go somewhere else. Ah, uh, let me show you what I can do with my lips. It's really fascinating, isn't it? I can't help but notice your fascination with the human body. What? Nonsense. You liking what you see? Mm, language. What? What are you doing? Mm, language. Stop it. Why? Why are you making me partake in this filthy formography? Don't turn away. Language. Mike, you better not be doing anything weird over there. You have sufficiently percolated me. I don't know what it is about the biology of lobotomites. It, it infects my thoughts. All that skin and muscle and tissue. Well, sexy, if you had a body, I could percolate you every day. Oh my god, I came back at the wrong part of this conversation. I'm going over and looking at the monitor again. Perhaps, perhaps there is value in what you say. I, I did so enjoy breathing once, long ago. You might not be able to breathe anymore, but if you ever want to watch anybody breathe... I feel so ashamed, but yet so intrigued. You'll need to give me a rest in between visits, or else my gel might run over. If you're ready, let me radar scan you. Slowly. There's no need to be ashamed, Donna. Purple, purple, woo. Scan me harder, baby. Those are certainly erotic noises, all right. Last little bit there. Thank you, the bottomite. Please, you must come back for further study when I've had a rest. I'm a little sensitive right now. Well, I think Zack is thoroughly disgusted, so it's time for us to leave. Until our next interaction, my intriguing little lobotomite. Alright, so what the hell were you two talking about? Oh, just talking about sciencey stuff. You wouldn't get it since you're not a science man. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I don't understand how you can stand those leg things. <laughs> yeah, they're real stupid looking, aren't they? I like them. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. You seem like the one in charge, and you're... I am Dr. Klein, uh. Chief Head Researcher of Logistical Operations and Ideology here at Big Mountain. I am surprised you have not heard of me. I am first in my field, first chair, as it were, back in the days of chairs. Well, I've heard of your magical bottles that only have one side, but I've never met you in person. Cl Klein bottles? Oh, good! <laughs> <laughs> Who's Dr. Mobius? He was once one of us. A friend. He researched in directions contrary to the think tank. Brains, 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 always about the brains. So we exiled him. He says he left of his own volition, but that was to save him the embarrassment. Now he sends his intelligence-consuming scorpions from the Forbidden Zone to plunder the secrets of Big Mountain. He is a menace. Anyway, we have done all of the stuff. Recovered all of the technological information. You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. <laughs> oh yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. He ain't no liar, except when he is. Do they have everything you need? No. I mean, yes. Do any of you have any idea what you're doing here? Of course I know. I'll figure it out. The door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science. Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror. Um, you can go now. That's your cue. To the Forbidden Zone! Dirk is now standing on the green pipes. 
If you are standing on the green pipes, please get off them at once. You're not the boss of me, Dala! Cer no certainly boss, sounded science. like she was the boss of you a while ago. Forbidden zone, forbidden zone, there is a zone and it's forbidden, forbidden zone, forbidden zone, we're going there right now. There's a zone, it's forbidden, it's kinda whack, but with my axe I think I can have- God damn it! <laughs> we're gonna arrive at the forbidden zone soon and I'm gonna give him a hatchet wound. Ooh! Is this why it's forbidden? Cause the plants get angry when we're here? That zappy gun doesn't need to be working too well on the plants. No, it seems to be pretty lame on plants. That worked better. <laughs> Apparently I can uproot it just by shooting at it. I see your game, Mobius. Also, I see your giant robot scorpions. And I raise you a gun that shoots giant robot scorpions. And I mean shoots that like it actually fires projectiles at them, not it fires <laughs> robot scorpions. Now you've given me the idea. I want a gun that fires robot scorpions. Thanks to my new Weed Be Gone shotgun, you too can get rid of weeds immediately with a simple one-two dispersion. One, two, and the plant is gone.